Hey there, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to a free coaching Friday installment of seven minutes in the morning. My name is Tom Rigsby, your host. There we go. Let there be light. And it was so. <laughs> How y'all doing this morning? It's, uh, it's still a little bit chilly outside for me. So I've got my, um, you ever had one of those shirts? You just love wearing them. I mean, this is not, I don't even wear it out anywhere. I've worn it out in the elbows, but, um, I don't know. It's just my favorite shirt, especially when it's chilly out. Keeps me warm. Good morning, Joe. Good morning, Keith. Thank you guys for being here. Hey, listen, when you join the show live or on the replay, do what those guys just did. Leave a comment. Let me know that you stopped by. That is awesome. And, uh, and it sets you up. So Facebook will keep you involved in the conversation. That in and of itself is a, is a fantastic reason. <clears throat> if you're listening on iTunes or Stitcher or wherever you like to listen to your podcast, it's a great reason for you to head over to Facebook so you can join in the conversation. Today is Friday, therefore free coaching Friday. And I'm going to, I'm going to play off of, um, a comment that I made yesterday that, uh, Abby then, replied to in the comments and about it being a great idea you guys are in trouble this morning i've got a, i mean full very full cup of coffee this morning i'm juiced and ready to go all right here was the comment it was about um so we were talking about in some respects how to manage your time and one of my favorite ways favorite I don't know, suggestions to make to people is to decline meeting requests. So today, I titled today's show, Increasing uh, increasing Your Value. Scarcity is one of the things that helps determine the value of a resource. Now, most people, when I make this suggestion, and look, the whole, the whole idea behind this is either you control your time or you let somebody else control it. And then yesterday, we were talking about choices and and the kind of gist of it was you have to choose to be in control of your time. One way you can do that is to not let somebody else control your time by responding to every stinking meeting request that comes along for some people. I mean, some of us don't have that problem, but a lot of people, this is something they really struggle with because, well, I got a meeting request. I have to be there. No, you don't. I mean, at the end of the day, no, you don't. Now, there's all kinds of objections to that. Well, they need me there. If they didn't need me there, they wouldn't have invited me. Sure, they would have. People love to be in charge of meetings with lots of people in them, right? Here's the, but here's the thing. If you are really critical to the outcome and you decline, the meeting organizer is going to reply to you and say, well, we, we really need you there. When can you be there? We'll reschedule a meeting. If they can have it without you, you aren't really critical to being there anyway, which a lot of people actually know already. And so that's why they re reply yes to these meeting requests because of FOMO, the fear of missing out. You get some, you got the whole list of people that are going, ask one of them to take notes for you. It's like we did in school. Hey, will you share your notes with me? What'd they, what'd they talk about? Don't be afraid to say no. It drives up your value. I, it sounds counterintuitive, I know, but it's true. So that's topic number one uh, for today. You you get a, uh, today's a, well, I wish I had the sound effects board set up. Today is a daily double because you're going to get a two for today. The second one <clears throat> is more challenging. Um, the second one is about accountability. Also from a topic this week about creating results, one of the best ways to do that is to have someone to whom you are accountable. Now, this, boy, I, you know, I was just about to get into... <laughs> peeling that back and I'm thinking 
Man, there's a lot here. But so I want to make it simple. My whole thing is about simplifying results. I'll make it simple for you. Right? Find one person who you trust to give it to you the right way. That I mean, they're not going to sugarcoat it for you if you don't get things done and say, hey, you didn't get things done. That's what you want. Maybe even you can reciprocate. That's all. And if nothing else, I'll put a post on your blog or on Facebook. I'm going to get this done by next week. Y'all ask me if I did it. Somebody will ask you. I might ask you. (laughs) But here's the thing. In our head, we can rationalize away not doing just about anything. Well, it's cold outside. Well, I'm running late this morning. Well, whatever. And as silly as it sounds, I mean, these, so these are two little silly, you know, mind hacks almost this morning, but they work. As silly as it sounds, just telling somebody else, this is what I'm going to do by this time creates, um, creates completion stress, right? Which creates some focus so you can actually get it done. I don't know. I'm just putting that out there and saying, I'm going to ask you if you've ever um, found that to be helpful, right? Having someone to whom you are accountable. And look, really, at the end of the day, you're only accountable to yourself. You're just using this other person as a mechanism to help you do that. But if you've ever done that, have you ever found that to be helpful? I did it for years. Formally did it for years. Um, before I even figured out why it was working, <laughs> um, makes a huge difference. It's all the difference in the world. All right. So say no, have an accountability partner. Boy, those two things right there. Look, it's Friday. Begin today declining meeting requests that don't fit into your schedule. I'm not saying decline them just to be mean about them, but decline them when they don't fit into your schedule. Suggest another time that'll work, right? Begin today doing that for next week. And go ahead today, be brave, be bold, put it in the comments if you want, and say by next Friday this is what's going to happen. And then let the community here hold you accountable for it. Or find somebody in your sphere of influence that's willing to do that. See if you don't have better results by this time next week. All right, that's it. Speaking of next week, that's it for this week. Last show of the week. You guys have a fantastic Friday and a great weekend. Oh, and by the way, you know, thanks for sticking around to the end. Key stuck around to the very end yesterday and got to see an out to a, a goof up. So, hey, it's always valuable to stick around to the end to see what you might miss. You guys have a great weekend. I will talk to you again Monday morning. 7 o'clock Central Time right here on 7 Minutes in the Morning. See you then. Actually, I won't see you. You'll see me. I'll talk to you then. You know, you get the idea. You guys take care.